Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and today I have a tutorial on, on how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 untethered on the Mac. Now, this jailbreak has been available on Windows for a couple days now, and it is uh, called the Pangu jailbreak. And uh, as you guys can see, here it is. Here's the Pangu application. I'm just going to open it up here on my Mac. And as you guys can see, this is what the interface of the application looks like. Now, this is actually a very, very simple jailbreak. It's essentially just a couple parts. As you guys can see, I am jailbreaking my iPhone 5S. Now, this is on iOS 7.1.1, and this is a fully untethered jailbreak. So I'm just going to show you guys here that this is on 7.1.1. So as you guys can see here in settings, I'm just going to turn down the brightness so you can see. And there you go, iOS 7.1.1. It's actually really easy to see. It's a super easy jailbreak, actually. As you guys can see, I have my iPhone plugged in via the lightning cable that came with my iPhone. So there's one step that you have to do before you can actually start. So when you when you connect the phone and when you hit jailbreak, it's going to give you these instructions to actually go into your device and change the date and time. And somehow this is part of the exploit that the creators of Pangu were able to find to be able to jailbreak your device. So what you have to do is change the date and time to Monday the 2nd of June and it does give you those instructions as you guys can see here when you slide down and when you get the 2nd of June uh, it automatically displays a message on the screen or it, the, the message goes away rather the instructions and it starts the process now this does take a really long time so I did speed this up on my Mac so if it looks like it's hung don't worry it hasn't it just actually does take a very long time so as you guys can see it says please tap uh, the Pangu application so when that comes up if you scroll to your last page you will see the Pangu application when you tap it all you have to do is hit continue and when it opens up this is going to start the progress bar on your computer up again so it does tell you to keep your device connected until the process is completed and so i'm going to speed this part of the process up as well just to save some time All right, as you guys can see, it says that it is rebooting the device uh, and not to disconnect. So you will know that it has rebooted because it's plugged into your computer and iTunes or oh, sorry, iTunes won't open up. But uh, if you have another application set up to open when your iPhone connects to the computer, it will. Now it says it's waiting for the response. So it does need you to unlock your device if you have a passcode, but it does recommend that you remove the passcode before uh, you actually start this procedure. Now my device, it says that the storage is almost full, but that's all right. All you have to do is hit continue and now the process is done because it is cleaning up and it says done as you guys can see now again this is going to take a little while for the device to turn on yet again because it does reboot the device and uh, there's a little bit more of a procedure left and there we go now the device has been completely jailbroken and you can tell because when you plug it in or when it's plugged in it will say on Pangu it'll give you your device identifier code and then it will tell you that it's already jailbroken so I put in the password again, since this was the first time after jailbreaking, there was a little bit of a glitch when putting in the passcode, but it's all right now. And when you scroll to your last page, you will see that you have Cydia. Now this is the main jailbreak store. Essentially, as you guys can see, there is also a new icon for iOS 7 and the upcoming iOS 8, hopefully, if there is a jailbreak, if Apple doesn't patch it, but more than likely Apple will patch it before iOS 8 comes out. So now it's setting up the file system in Cydia. Again, this process does take a little while, so I did speed up the video for you guys just to save you some time. Now when it's done, Cydia is actually going to need a Wi-Fi connection and a functioning Wi-Fi connection at that, and I didn't have one when I was making this video, so when I open up Cydia, you guys will see uh, that there is a little bit of a problem because, and actually let me just show you guys, when you open up Cydia, uh, it does say that an internet connection is required, so it was unable to load for me, but at the time of making this video, or rather at the time of editing this video, Cydia is fully functional, I have already downloaded some tweaks and I am using them on my device, and overall there is absolutely no problem with the jailbreak. It's functioning 100% and I have really been looking forward to this and I'm really really happy that this jailbreak came out and it is something that's fully functional easy to do and uh, easy to work with and if you guys would like I will have more jailbreak videos soon so if you enjoyed this video do remember to like this video by hitting the little like button in the bottom left hand corner of this video and for more videos like these as well as other videos uh, do remember to subscribe anyway thank you very much for watching and as always I will catch you all in the next video peace